Woo! Alright, what's going on guys? Back with another episode of the most consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast. This is your host, Just Jay Sama and producer Plank. How's it going? How's it going? Um, so, uh, we missed last week. Yes? Unfortunately. Uh, yes. No, it's actually not unfortunate. It was uh, the resurrection of uh, Chuck E. Cheese and, uh, you know... Jeez. Yeah, I was trying to make that funny. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't come out. It implied that Jesus was a rat. Uh, it was. Oh. It was Easter last week. So, uh, <laughs> so he took Easter off. How was? Uh, how was your holiday, man? How? How's family time? How is everything? It was cool, man. I had a you know had a chance to sit down with my my grandmother and my mom. It was, it was dope. Oh shit. We went out to eat and then we chilled out. Is that like a rare that. occasion or? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not rare. Oh, okay. Yeah, you mean it sounded like it was a job interview or something. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Always a good time. For sure, for sure. I love it, man. But we usually don't go out to eat like that. Uh, like ah, so. I see, I see. Because, you know, Grandma be turning up, I assume. She's yeah, like, always. Yeah, always. it's usually Grandma. So, I get it, I get it. But um, we got a very interesting show today. Uh, it's not really that interesting. I'm going to try to make it interesting, <laughs> to be honest with you. There really, I mean, you know... There's some weeks where we have, like, plenty to talk about and stuff is interesting. And then there's other weeks where it's just like, all right, so what's How what's are we going to wing it this time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we could do it. We, I mean, for the first topic, we definitely can. Uh, let's go ahead and talk Netflix, man. Uh, mm. Netflix decided that they wanted to uh, do some suspect shit, man. Now, um, apparently... Uh, they reported losing over 200,000 active subscriber ba- like subscribers, part of their base yes. or whatever. Um, they've recently canceled over 12 shows, uh, some that are really good, others that are obviously questionable. Um, you know, man, and they're really cracking down on password sharing. So oh, I don't know boy. about you, but something smells like bullshit to me. <laughs> I smell it. I mean, I think it's the fact that they, they they lost subscribers and then they immediately went to Code Red, like DEFCON 5 level shit. They were like, all right, we're putting ads, we're raising the fucking price. It's like, okay. Yeah, let's just do the utmost worst possible things we could do. Like, let's... Yeah. I, I was seeing TikToks about like, oh, let's see Netflix self-sabotage themselves, you know, and stuff like that. And I was seeing like... <laughs> People were making suicide jokes. It really wasn't. Honestly, <laughs> TikTok is a weird place, man. Like people were like were comparing like people actually, you know, committing Sudoku comparing it to Netflix, man. It's just like, yo, do you people have no heart? Like Yeah, that's a little little upsetting. Not upsetting, but a little strange. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like they lost uh, all their Marvel Marvel shows and they lost their minds, man. Like it's weird. Oh, that is true. They did lose uh, Daredevil and the other ones to Disney Plus. Yeah, so and, that's uh, actually really unfortunate. I mean, not for me. I got that Disney Plus Hulu bundle. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, that's true. I'm not worried about it. And besides, I mean, for uh, specifically for those shows, I mean, the only one I ever really watched was Luke Cage, and I watched like three episodes of The Defenders, and that was it. I didn't even watch the other ones. I didn't uh, like the Defenders. Yeah, I, I think I watched Iron Fist like halfway through the first season, and I was just like, "This show's trash." So mm. I keep, ooh, excuse me, I keep getting recommended Daredevil, so I'm I'm probably gonna watch that. My girl really loves Daredevil, so I like Daredevil. Yeah, I'm a lot of very interesting, that. interesting parts to it. Ah, okay. A lot okay. of references to like biblical things. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a few in like the later seasons. All right, I might have to. I might have to fuck with that. You know, ever since yeah, Homie popped up in Spider-Man, show. I'm like, I'm interested now. Are you, uh, oh, that's interesting. Most people's introduction to him was in the Daredevil original show. Mm, mm. Interesting. Yeah, da- Daredevil's never really been like a, a superhero I've ever been interested in. I mean, even when oh, it was I Ben Affleck, it. I was just like, okay, who cares? Like, <laughs> Yeah, he's not like, I mean, he has some great comics, but I don't think he translated a hundred percent to the the show but he did a pretty good job they did a very good job for what they had i think a lot of like marvel tv shows or like the superhero shows uh and even the dc ones fucking are terrible at translating comics Mm. like i think that cw shows like some of them do it okay but like most of them do it like 
terribly. Like dog I haven't seen some of the newer ones, but like the Flash ruined it after like the first couple seasons. Fucking Supergirl is literally one of the worst shows probably of all time. Uh, they have Superman and Lois, but I haven't seen that. I uh, yeah, I haven't heard anything on that one either. I didn't even know that was a show. Yeah, it is. That's crazy, man. We don't need. Oh, they it's they ended Arrow and everything went to shit. Mm. The only one I'm familiar with is uh, Titans, and that was it. It's the Teen Titans one. Really? Yeah, that's the only one I'm familiar with. I, I've never watched that's a single crazy. episode, but that's the only one I really like. Was like I actually it. liked Gotham for a time. Oh yeah, I forgot Gotham was a thing. Arrow. Uh... Gotham, yeah, Arrow. Man, yikes! Nah, no thanks. I'm cool. I mean, I actually like Gotham a decent. I mean, I like the beginning of Gotham, right? I like some of the characters in that show. Like, I think they're mm-hmm. translated very well. But uh, there's a certain point where it's like, okay, well, what's going on here? Mm, right. It's easy to get. I think that's with most sauce. CW shows. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes it just, you know what I mean? They try to make something new and it gets a little fucked up. What about if they uh, threw it on Netflix? You think uh, people will watch it? Is any you of that like stuff Gotham? on Netflix? No, I think it's on some. I think it's on Hulu. I mean, no. Let me look. I think The Flash is on Hulu. Yeah, The Flash is sure. on Hulu. Yeah. What comes before? I that? don't know about the rest of them. I didn't realize uh, Netflix has this autoplay thing, and then <laughs> started playing Arrested Development. Uh, <laughs> let me see. What what the fuck was I looking for? <laughs> oh, The Flash and the other CW shows. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. The Flash. Flash not on there. Yeah. No. Really? It's not on Hulu. Nah. What comes before? Well, I, I, know. I thought it was on Hulu. Let's check Hulu. I'm pretty sure it's on Hulu. Oh, yeah, it's on Netflix. Hulu for let sure. Me, let me check Oh, Hulu. my bad, my bad. Let's I think the, the only ones were the Marvel shows that were on Netflix. Not yeah. The, not the CW on ones. Yeah, they got The Flash on here, man. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, that, yeah. I'm not really, I'm not in enti- Oh, they only have uh, season eight, though. Of The Flash? Yeah. What? Yeah, oh, that's the, it's not isn't letting that the me. Season? It doesn't let me change the season. That's weird. Yeah, um, that's very weird. I yeah, I know it's not me because I have the highest available package there is. <laughs> Most of the DC shows are on uh, like HBO to Max though, so oh, it might yeah, be yeah, there. I'm not sure. Let me see. Superman and they Lois is on here. Oh, Superman and Lois. Yeah. Yeah, that's on here. Uh, two seasons. This looks interesting. I'm. Uh, I, Super Jet said it was it was a uh, it was pretty good or pretty decent, but really that guy still still likes the Flash show. So, <laughs> uh, I'm not. You have to take him with a grain of salt, of course. Oh man, yo, a lot, a lot. Apparently, holy shit, that doesn't sound yeah. like him at all to like that show. I don't think he so. likes the yeah he likes the CW's Flash. Wow. He still watches it and shit. That man, that man enjoys Power Rangers though. I'm pretty sure anybody right, that no, jo- enjoys committed. that stuff would enjoy Power Rangers. Well, hold on. No disrespect, but whoa. You know. You disrespecting Power Rangers? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. You're talking I'm saying, shit. I'm saying that no, definitely not. I was a Power Ranger at one point. At one point in time, what are you talking about? Oh, um, okay. Nah, I'm saying like that over the top, cheesy like effects and stuff like that. That that's that's the Flash. So anytime I ever see clips of the Flash, it's never anything good. <laughs> I've never I've never seen somebody online celebrate the Flash. I own I I have only ever seen people talk shit about it. That's it. So. I mean, there's some good parts about it, but not. I don't think anymore they're not there. Mm. They were there in the beginning, for sure. Mm. Okay, okay. But uh, as soon as they, as soon as season two hit, that shit was... Or after season two was done, it went super downhill. Yeah, I'm absolutely uh, unfamiliar with that. I, I wish I I wish I was on it, man. I wish I could uh, have no, a you little don't. bit more... I don't. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't you're wish right. you were on it. <laughs> just, just don't lie. We're just not going to sit here and lie. Hey, you know okay? what? Speaking of lying... Um, <laughs> You know, obviously, I got to save some stuff for the Patreon, you know, you know, but... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, of <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. I, um, I had this issue with my girl this week, right? And we'll obviously, you know, cover a little bit more. But, um, it resulted in me watching all three seasons of Stranger Things. <laughs> I was that bored. Okay. <laughs> I was that bored, bro. Okay. I had nothing else to watch. I was like, I was like, oh, okay, you know, uh, I'm pretty caught up on the few anime that I want to watch. Which, by the way, are you watching uh, Spy Family? No, I'm going to wait for that one to finish. That joint is pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. It's actual adults with adult problems. Um, It's pretty cool, man. I I fuck with it. 
I fuck with it. Uh, I like the concept of it. I like uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Smith vibe of it. That's how everybody's describing it. But, I mean, you know, nobody else has any other form of media to reference. But, I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, mm. But it's pretty dope, man. I'm looking forward to where the rest of that goes. Uh, you know, the dad's a spy. The mom's an assassin. The, the little girl is a telepath. Is that what it is? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, uh, yeah, it's telepath because telekinetic is being able to move things with your mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, man, they're trying to keep this secret from each other and they just have no idea. It's, they kind of set up this like weird arranged marriage thing and uh, just to, you know, help him with his mission or whatever. And she has no idea he's a, he's a spy and she has no idea. He, uh, he has no idea she's an assassin. And so it makes for pretty, uh, Pretty funny things, man. Pretty funny stuff happens. So, you know, I've never really found a lot of, like, anime comedic. Like, st- like things that uh, would be funny in Japanese just don't translate well to English, uh, in, in my opinion. I mean, you know, otherwise they'll just have okay. to, like, do things on their own and, like, remix it a little bit to make it funny for English audiences. But this one's yeah. pretty funny, man. This one's, it's, it's hilarious. It's mostly, like, the little girl's, like, facial reactions when she, like, listens to her parents, like, uh kind of plot against each other or something like that not plot against each other but plot with each other silently but they have no idea that they're on the same page like there was this one guy who like robbed this old lady or something like that and the mom like takes off sprinting and she's just like oh i i'm gonna i might have to kill this guy or some shit like that and then uh the little girl is like listening to her her mom say that it's like not her actual mom of course but like she's listening to the to the assassin chick in her head and she's like, oh, my God, she's going to kill that man. And then so the dad goes, I'll have to kill him first. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's stuff that's stuff like that. That's pretty funny. So uh, mm. I definitely recommend it. I fuck with it. Um, I also caught up to My Hero Academia. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't catch up. <laughs> I, I think I'm like four episodes behind whatever the most recent episode is i don't know if it's airing right now i don't know if it's on the current simulcast i i don't even know it might be but uh i basically watched it all on hulu in the english dub until it got to a point where the dub was no longer available so that's where i stopped watching so mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, and the animation for that one they they did something with that one I'll tell you that there's a couple of times where it does go crazy though like it was it was pretty dope uh I'm a huge fan of Bakugo now. Uh, they oh, did the okay. the class A versus class B tournament thing or whatever. Uh, oh, okay. oh no, no, it's the class A versus class B training session where Deku gets his new ability. And uh, oh, they did that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was pretty cool, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was kind of on board. I think I might be a Deku fan now. All of a sudden, like Black Whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was at first when they came out. And I saw what the name was. I said, this seems oh, racially no. motivated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was like, Some, something seemed very strange about the title of this, about this uh, secret move of his. <laughs> so, <laughs> why they call it that? <laughs> very peculiar. Very interesting name, man. So, uh, so, I caught up to that. That was very interesting. Uh, what else did I catch up to? There was a couple of shows I've watched. Uh, I finally watched Suicide Squad. Uh, oh, okay. The new one, the one with John Cena in it. Uh, I fell asleep. Ah, uh, yes. I fell asleep. Uh, I woke up at one point and there was this giant like starfish coochie monster or something like that, Eight. and it was Eight. getting eaten by rats, and like Harley Quinn was like stuck inside of it, and the rats were like burrowing inside of the monster, and it was like. It was pretty gross, so I just closed my eyes and I rolled over. I said, whatever is going on on this screen is none of my business. I'm I'm cool. <laughs> okay. It started off pretty fire, though, because I was like, oh, okay. I didn't see the original Suicide Squad all the way through, so I had, yeah. like, no point of reference to be like, oh, okay, like, Will Smith is actually good in this movie or, you know, like, these people have chemistry or anything like that. Like, I, I had no point of reference, so... Uh, seeing this one was, you know, pretty cool. I was sleepy at the time, so it really didn't didn't help. It much. didn't help. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, now I'm just playing catch up at this point. Like uh, I'm really just putting all my information on the podcast. Let's see. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, <laughs> I 
I'm catching up on games. Uh, I saw that there was a Devil May Cry sale, so I bought every single Devil May Cry for PS5. Uh, mm. I bought that. Oh! oh! Man, okay, so one more thing, and then I'm going to get to the O moment. I was playing um, Mafia 3, and I'm, I'm finally like going through the rest of that game. I th- I'm trying to 100% it and get the platinum and stuff. Uh, just because I'm bored and, you know, I want to play a black man that kills white people and it's and it's okay. Like, I want to be able to get away with it. Um, I didn't... I haven't gotten to the part with a KKK rally yet. Um, so I'm very excited about that, that part. part. Yeah, 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 I'm waiting on that. Um, but yo, man, I don't like this game. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, not, it's this, not the best to play. Yeah, this game is ass, bro. The, the story <laughs> is cool and, like, I really want to get into it. And I'm pretty deep in there. But the gameplay is just it's bad. Terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Oh my yeah, god. Garbage. Like I, I this game feels unfinished. There's a lot of parts like in the bayou where they clearly like the level design is terrible. Like absolutely terrible. There's a couple of parts where I was like on this dock, right? And there's like a train mm. car that's stuck in this uh it's like a oil rig on the other side right and it's like this fence and you can't go down the you can't break the fence you can't go around it because there's like these invisible walls and like these big ass everglades bushes and shit like that that you can't go around right so i was like okay let me uh let me just go over the train because it has like a ladder so he climbs on so clay climbs on uh he climbs on top of the train and then i jump down on the other side and i get like the items and stuff i need over there the problem is i can't come back so I'm like, okay, if I die, I lose money. So I can't, you know, like I lose the money that like that I went and picked up from like all of these rackets and stuff like that from drug running and all this other stuff. And then so I start to like roam around the area and like there's a whole connected like swamp area. So I go through there and I'm going all around and shit and I'm seeing all these gators in the water. I was like, okay, clearly this is their way of saying like, hey, you're not supposed to go here because these things are going to eat you. Like this is your like hard stop point i find a way around that um i'm like traveling on so i'm doing some real like busted video game shit there's like this ledge that goes across like one of these fences and i hopped up on the ledge and i uh like shimmied like i crouched and i shimmied all the way across the ledge only to like end up on the other side and realize there's nothing on the other side of this fence there's it's like a hard stop the fence just doesn't go anymore and it's nothing but water and i can't go around because the second i go in the water i die so it's like okay so i try to turn around and i try to find my way back and it just there's like these pocket areas where you're like you can't go left you can't go right you can't go straight you can't go back and it's like well fuck like so i've had to like reload the game many 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 fucking times because a lot of that shit will happen uh, when I finish a level, sometimes it'll stay in the cutscene. So, like, say the camera's, like, in a room, right? And two characters are talking to each other. And then the cutscene mm. finishes, and it fades to black, and it comes back up. Okay, now the character is able to roam around, but the camera is stuck in the in the cutscene view. So I can't, <laughs> I can't leave the room. Like, I can't. It's just so fucking dumb. Like, this this game is absolutely busted. And I'm playing on PS5, so it's like all of the updates are available. All of the patches are available and everything. Like, the game is running at its, like, highest availability of performance. And it's still running like dog shit. Like, it's mm. it's so unoptimized. It's it's fucking terrible. Like, I, I really don't like this play, playing this game. But I want to get through oh, it because yeah. I really like Mafia 3. Uh, I didn't really fuck with Mafia 1 and 2 like that. Uh, maybe I'll go back and try them, but I'm not paying forty nine dollars for each of those. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I mean, I like that. I like Mafia Three, but that it was rough playing it. Like it's a bad, like it's a bad game, but it's a fun story or it's a nice story. It's just a terrible fucking game. Yeah, horrible fucking video game. Horribly, horribly designed, horribly optimized, horribly made. You know what's better than that though? Fortnite. I love Fortnite. Oh shit. <laughs> really what's going on with fortnite didn't they recently they put have in, an update uh yeah they're adding like there's no builds in the game now uh they're, they're adding guns and new guns and shit what the fuck so, no building there's an airship there's ai there's pve in the game 
Uh, Tilted's back. Are you trying to you trying to tell me to download Fortnite? Is that what you're saying? Uh, perhaps if you'd like to. Really? There's wow. no builds in it now. You, you saying that means a lot. Yeah, I'm level like seventy something in the battle pass. <laughs> so I'm going crazy on it. Shit. Okay, am I? It's am actually, I, and I hate Fortnite, but they updated it in such a way that I'm just like, okay, well uh, now I gotta play. Mm. And my friends are playing it, and I'm having a great time. Like I can get on the game solo, and I can't. I haven't been able to do that in like years. Wow. So yeah, that's, you don't you don't even like, like video insane. games. That's crazy, man. That's tough. Yeah, no cap. I don't I don't like shit. Yeah, it's hard to get you to stay on the game for too long. So I get that. Yeah, that's because most of them are boring. Um, See, man, that's why. But it's a the Fortnite is crazy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually enjoying to, it, so... Yeah, I might have to fuck with that. I'm going to go ahead and download it after the podcast, so... Uh, oh, speaking okay. of shitty games getting updates, uh... Overwatch 2. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> uh, Overwatch 2 beta <laughs> dropped. Um, I, I I haven't seen any gameplay on it. i purposely kind of been oh. dodging it. They didn't send me an invitation, and I don't feel like following XQC or Pokimane or... Oh, well, you can't... They don't... That shit's a... Whatever told you that, that's a lie. Yeah, 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 so... Uh, apparently you can't even do that. You yeah, have to be apparently invited. they're doing fake Twitch drops or something like that for beta codes, and I knew that was a fucking lie because I was just like, all right, whatever. Like, um, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not excited. I don't care. I don't give a shit. The five v five mode sucks uh, because they took out one player from both teams. I don't understand why that was a good idea. Um, yeah, and I don't. I don't fuck with Blizzard. There's no Jeff Kaplan now. Um, None of my personal homies work there anymore. So my brother doesn't even test for Blizzard and Activision anymore. So he was like, yeah, fuck that place. I got to get out of there. Um, Damn. Yeah, he actually works at Sony Santa Monica now. So. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. He just, uh, he's one of like their lead QAs or some shit like that. So um, he was telling me about uh, God of War, which, okay, I probably shouldn't say this on the podcast, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so he was showing me gameplay for uh, Ragnarok. Hey, bro, this game kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I oh, you got it like that. <laughs> yeah, he was he was showing oh, me footage of it like that, that. that he had recorded. I mean, he's like the lead. He's like one of the lead QA. So I mean, obviously. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got it like that. Um, so he was showing me some gameplay for it. I'm not gonna lie, man. There's there's a few elements in here that they've added. Like, it's very much the same uh, combo system and stuff like that from the previous God of War. But, like, they've added more environmental damage and environmental effects and stuff like that. That really... They gonna have your PS5 running hard. <laughs> I'm not Damn. even... I'm not even lying, bro. Like, this shit looks crazy. The effects and all the other graphical shit that they got going on. It's honestly too much. I, I think at a couple of parts there was there was like way too much. There was like one boss that he was fighting that literally, I shit you not, clutters the entire screen with just oh, with just tr- garbage, just garbage. And like even with the minimal UI, it's just actual. All right, well, well it's it's sludge on the screen. Like it's just it's you yeah, know that effect. You know that effect. Uh, like games have been doing since like PS2 where like if it's raining in the game they'll put like rain droplets on the screen so it looks like oh yeah yeah it looks like it's like the camera is wet or whatever it's a lot of that like Ugh. a lot of that and uh although I was excited to do this particular boss battle I hope I can turn those effects off he t- he told me so currently you can't but they're they're working on you know, decluttering it and stuff like that before the game comes out. So, oh, okay. So I'm very excited have a about classic. this. Yeah, it's that and Forspoken are the only two games I'm really looking forward to for the rest of the year. So, uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, to go back, I, I've seen some Overwatch two changes, uh, specifically with Mercy, Doomfist, Orissa. Uh, I haven't seen any of Reinhardt's changes. I've seen the Bastion rework. I've seen the Sombra rework. They're okay. I mean, I was getting triggered just watching, like, gameplay the other day when they dropped, uh, like, more info on the game, like, the beta coming out. I was getting triggered just from that. So, Mm. and uh, TikTok is starting to talk about it, which means it's building up popularity, which, yuck. 
Um, I honestly yeah. want this game to fail day one, uh, just to be real <laughs> with you. Damn. Yeah, bro, I want it to Jesus sell like Christ. zero copies. Uh, That's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's impossible, but like, I hope the game flops. I hope the game flops fucking hard. Uh, just because you know, I, I just wanted to. I think I think uh, Blizzard Activision needs a big reset right now, and uh, you know. They're just dog shit. They're just dog shit in general, dog shit company. So, you know, mm, damn. level that motherfucker. I mean, I've been watching gameplay. It, it's whatever. It's just a texture pack and it's Overwatch 1 and they reworked some characters. That's what oh, I was The Orisa yeah. re, rework is actually insane. She's probably really... She's, she's very strong, viable now. No, she's one of the strongest characters yeah, now. For sure. I, I would say. Absolutely, absolutely. They added the new character. The new character is, uh, he's cool. He's got, like, a slide shit, a slide and jump. Um, or that might be Baptiste. Not sure. Is it? You getting your I'm black people sure. mixed up again? No, I don't know <laughs> if it's a new character. They made him, a. they made a whole different design. So I don't know if it's to, him or not. I'm about to check it out. The other one is, um, the black chick. So, Sword, Sojourn, that's her name. Sojourn is the new is the newest character I've seen. Oh, is that her? Yeah, she was supposed to drop be... in Overwatch one last year, but they just never. They yeah, just they never just decided to yeah. fuck it. I mean, they was too busy raping women in the office, bro. I guess it's, that's a wild. Yeah, story. I get what they were. <laughs> they were, bro. You can't you can't add new characters to your live service video game if you're too busy raping women in the office. Come on now, we got other. The boys got other stuff to do. We got cubic cubicle crawls. Come on, man. No, the cubicle crawl was crazy. Playing some grab ass in here. Hey. That the, was a crazy thing. Playing the some touch me. You know what I mean? Come on, man. There's it's other other issues to be done in the office, man. Come on. Hey, my, my brother would tell me about stuff like that. Like, he was telling me. He was like, yeah, he he came to the company like, like right after they stopped doing that. Like, he was, uh, he was saying he would see people play grab ass in the fucking hallway and shit like that. And I was like, all right, describe these. Describe these gentlemen to me. He's like, you know a dude whose beard doesn't connect and it goes down your neck instead of on your chin? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I, was just, I was just shocked and appalled that he would say that to me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, this grown-ass man in here grabbing each other's meat and shit, bro. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> bro. <laughs> he said there was one restroom on the first floor towards like the south exit of the building. He was like, yeah, you didn't want to be caught in that restroom at 4 or 5 p.m. I'm like, why? What's happening? He said it's called the traffic jam. I said, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a crazy name. <laughs> what is the traffic jam called? He's like, just know you're not supposed to use that restroom. <laughs> I, I don't even I, I was scared to ask him. And I'm like. I was like, yo, you mean the 405, like the freeway? He said, just like the freeway. And I could only imagine, bro. I could only imagine what that meant. <laughs> so I'm glad he got the fuck up out of there, man. <laughs> so, yeah, that sounds horrendous. That's all. That's all. So, yeah, I hope Overwatch 2 flops. Am I going to buy it? Probably. Am I going to play it actively? Probably not. I saw this TikTok where somebody was claiming that tank mains are the most toxic players and i kind of agree with it because as a tank main i usually was screaming at people so you know i remember calling somebody a worthless uh specimen you know uh your mom should have swallowed you you know stuff like that you know i was saying some wild stuff on overwatch man but i'm no longer that guy you know yeah that's, yeah. that's the not toxicity is gone yeah the toxicity is is definitely Great. gone you know, now when I play Apex, I'm over, I'm toxically positive. That's what I am. Mm. You know, if I if I watch my teammate with a whole clip, hey, good job, man. <laughs> good job. You almost got him. <laughs> Not good job. It's crazy. <laughs> you almost hit him. That guy's hacking anyway, bro. <laughs> bro. I stay saying that. I was playing earlier today, and I watched one of my teammates get gunned down. <laughs> He was basically standing still. I was like, hey, man, your movement is crazy. I don't know how that guy hit you. <laughs> this guy was looting a box and got triple teamed. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. But, uh, hey, man, you know. Yeah, Overwatch 2, games. definitely about to be a flop. Yes, sir. According more video to you. games. According that's, to you. that's exactly what we need. But uh, Speaking of more I video mean, games, uh, 
This is a pretty good transition. I guess we could talk about it. Uh, oh. What's it called? Uh, Apex Legends <laughs> getting a new character next week. Week you after. <laughs> what uh, nice hey my uh, transitions are great today man i'll i don't know i don't know about that last one <laughs> you don't think so <laughs> not not the last one but uh, the first uh, one yeah the okay. first one was great all right well <laughs> hey man you know uh so they drop in a new character i'm very excited uh it's jackson who is bangalore's brother um which he was part of the leaks that we got a couple of weeks ago um has some dope ass abilities i really fuck with him uh, I really fuck with having another black man in Apex Legends. I really fuck with that. I know the racists are real mad right now, shaking their fist up in the air. Mm. Talking about, I can't believe these mud people are getting more characters in the game. <laughs> now mud people is wild. <laughs> are they adding porch monkeys to this fucking game? When can we get a good, <laughs> honest white man in here? Yo, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm verbatim quoting some stuff I've seen. In the in the comment section when they dropped no, that Xbox can't dropped be the real. trailer the other day. That cannot be real. No, it's definitely real, bro. I <laughs> somebody <laughs> said these mud bunnies and I almost fucking lost it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. He the was boldness. like, when can we get a good old fashioned American white man in the game to really shake things up? I said to be adding a white man, considering that to be shaking things up. I am, I'm appalled. Yeah, I'm I don't, appalled. I don't know if that's shaking anything up. Just, yeah, nah, definitely not. You know what I mean? So. There's only a finite amount of <laughs> times you could put a white man in and shake it up. Yeah, nah, that's that's not the shaking we doing, baby. Not here. Mm, no, not no, here. No. So, um, but yeah, I'm very excited to play this hero. Uh, I probably won't play play him for too long just because he's more defensive and you know I like to be useless. So. I like my teammates oh, okay. to not rely on me for shit, so... Mm, okay, you like to sit in the back. Yeah, 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 basically. Um, but you won't know, because, you know, I'll be throwing out decoys and stuff like that, man. You know, I'm a Mirage main, so... Very true. Uh, so, you know, I, I I like to be useless from far away or useless up close. I mean, you know, either way. Yeah, you're just trying to, you're trying to you know... Get a good grip of the field uh, at being useless. Exactly, exactly. I got to throw a decoy out there every now and then and, you know, make it seem like, guys, I'm really trying. I'm really trying. So, mm. yeah. Out to But, okay, man, I think that's enough. Uh, I think that's enough nerd talk for today, don't you think? No more games. No more video games. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, before we, before Easter, we took our break. Um, there was a video by a creator that came out um by the name of drewski you're familiar with drewski right oh yeah this one i yeah, remember yeah, this yeah, one yeah. This so is, yeah. um for anybody watching the video version i'm gonna go ahead and uh put this in here uh for plank in particular i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the culture chat real quick uh let's see at plank there we go yeah i, I see it uh so this is a real wild video man I, it's a little old, obviously. It's from April 12th. Uh, but he took the video down. And that's the part I want to talk about. Not necessarily just the video. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing it, there is a link down in the description of this video, uh, of this podcast. Um, it's very interesting, man. It's very interesting. Uh, it's alluding that, uh, you know, there's creeps within your, you know, friend group that be trying to get girls drunk to fuck them. I mean, yeah, the skit is pretty accurate, actually. It that's, is. It is. That's exactly what goes down. Now. That's what sleazy men do do. I'm not going to lie. You do? <laughs> I've been that sleazy before. That was me. Oh, okay. That was me once. That was, no, that's that was me once upon a time. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you know, getting coochie used to be pretty tough, man. It's not. Okay, I mean, it's not like how it is now. Yeah, it's not like how it is now where, you know, I'm faithful. And uh, it comes to me on a regular basis. Ah, but, yes. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what? Both things are true. Yeah, I'm yeah. Faithful, yeah, yeah, and faithful, and it does come to me on a regular basis. There's no active infidelity. Yeah, going not... <sighs> sir. <laughs> sir. Sir, sir, sir. <laughs> Relax. What are you, what, even... What? I... What are what? you even implying? I never never said anything. There is no infidelity. Said, there's no either. active infidelity yeah, going no, on. No, no, no. That's it. I mean, I, you know what I mean? I said what I said. <laughs> all right bill clinton anyway <laughs> <laughs> hey 
Anyway, so in this video, um, a lot of people were getting upset uh, because it they were saying how it perpetuates rape culture and guys being creepy and kind of like glorifying that, which I think people who say that have been woke for too long and they need to take a nap. Uh, this was clearly just mm. for shits and giggles. This was just a funny video. Uh, I see what it was intended to be, where I think hey, he and it's fucked up. On that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's absolutely shitting on it. It's making fun of those creepy guys at the party, saying, "Hey, the only thing he was missing from this video is literally somebody drugging a girl, like putting like Molly in her so, fucking yeah, something yeah, in their cup. Yeah, putting something in her cup. That I mean, had he added that in there, it would have been like, hey, bro, that might be a little. Nah, yeah, that would have been crazy. Yeah, but, this I mean, is a, this is now a Long Beach Griffey video. This is no longer a Drewski video. All right, like, <laughs> you can't be posting this online. So. He took the video down, which I think is an admission of guilt, uh, especially for a comedian. I really think this is not, uh, it's not really a big deal. I understand getting, like, backlash from people who have been assaulted in such a manner or uh, have had this happen to them. Or, funny enough, just from these comments in this tweet of this, this guy's repost that I put in the chat, just from his repost, there are guys within this chat that admit to actively doing this and like drugging uh, actively girls. is crazy yeah like grown men we're talking 35 36 37 years old trying to get girls drunk to fuck them and it's like bro bro i'm sorry to tell some of y'all this but you are not funnier just because the girl gets drunker let me let me say that one more time you are not funnier just because the girl gets drunker, okay? If you need me to put that in plain, correct English, you are not any more funny by this girl consuming more alcoholic beverages. You're just not. I'm sorry. You're mm. just not. You either got it or you don't. You, you either got the... What is it? Uh, What does John say? You either got the Riz or you don't? Yes. Yep, that's it, man. So, I, I think he shouldn't have taken the video down. I think it's he really should have stood by it because this is a very, very good example of like, what does happen uh, at, you know, parties and get-togethers and kickbacks and stuff like that. Like, this is a real thing. This is a real issue. And he just happened to make a hee-hee-ha-ha -ha funny out of it. Like, it was a funny fucking video. So, you know, there was like a frame where he's like chilling in the background with the bottle of Casamigos. And he got the demon tongue face on. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is that shit is hilarious. This guy really looked like he plotting on this girl. He said her yitty's gonna fall out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I mean it was real though. The video was accurate. <laughs> Almost like too accurate. So Yeah, I could I could understand being I guess well, I understand I understand why people are upset, but Hey, man, listen, just understand that he was mocking that behavior. Yeah. And he was not endorsing it in any any way. Yeah. But, you know, the Internet is a giant think piece and people aren't thinking. So, you know, mm. it is what it is, especially on Twitter and TikTok. Everybody on on Twitter, everything is sarcastic. On TikTok, nothing is a joke. That's what I've learned mm. this week is that you could be you could be very positive to somebody on TikTok and like their comment section or something, something like that. Like I came across a video this was actually probably a few weeks ago now that I think about it. I'm still getting comments on it. Uh, it was a video where it was like a guy who was sad or something like that. And the voiceover was saying, oh, if you could have, if you only had 10 minutes to live, who would you spend that last 10 minutes with? And I simply replied, I just put her and I put uh, a sad face, just a sad face emoji, right? 1137 likes 1137 people liked it right yeah there's probably been at least 400 comments calling me a simp and i was like bruh what the fuck like there were people saying oh so you just don't fuck with your mom and your dad like your family's upset right now like you should kill yourself like yo there were people really going going hard because I wanted to talk to somebody. I didn't even say who it was. I didn't even be like, oh, my girlfriend or this person or that person. I literally just put, just put her. Just her. That could have been anybody. Why the fuck y'all going so hard, bro? Like. Yeah, people will find anything to 
to shit on on the internet. It was very strange. Yeah, there was one guy who was just like, oh, he had a whole think piece. He was like, it really takes someone with no bitches to... to <laughs> it really takes someone yeah. with no bitches to ask to spend their last 10 minutes with a bitch instead of spending it with their own family. I was just like, damn, bro, this is... He had like a... He had like two more sentences after that, and I stopped reading. I was just like, "Damn, dog! Like, who hurt you?" First of all, yeah, he's mad, emotional over nothing. Yeah, hey, I was like, "How are you mad over a, a uh, grown TikTok ass man?" Is crazy. Yeah, or a grown ass man's TikTok, bro. Like, what the fuck? Let nah, me live, bro. So I started. Uh, bro, who you? Uh, also, even if even if you do want to spend it with somebody that wasn't your family, it's like that's your fucking choice, right? Right. I only got it's, ten it's, minutes left on the planet, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't spend really it with her. That long, man. I'm trying to go to sleep. Fuck that. Hey, fuck that. My bills are done. I don't have to pay nothing. Let them bitches overdraft. I don't give a fuck. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I went in I'm and there's, out. you know, I got caught up. There's maybe like 14, 15 people I responded to, man, that, that called me a oh. simp. And I said, it really takes somebody with no bitches to call somebody else a simp because they want to spend time with a woman. <laughs> True. One dude, I called him a, a a filthy incel. He liked the comment. <laughs> That's wild. I, I don't I don't understand, man. This the internet is a weird place. So yeah, the internet is yeah. terrible. You can't have anything on the internet without people criticizing it. So. Yeah, no. I just no. no, I just ignore it. I ignore the dumb shit. Yeah. Because so. you really you find a lot of people who think they know what they're talking about, just like me. Uh, that they don't know what they're fucking talking about. True, so. true, true. But you have a Everybody podcast, has though. No That's idea. the difference between you and them. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that makes you right. Uh, uh, no, that doesn't you put it on. Nah, you put it on wax. That makes you right. Uh, okay. That's how the rule goes. Because I mean, if you if you put your your thoughts, your feelings, and opinions on wax, right? Obviously, opinions are like assholes, and everybody has one, right? Well, most people. Uh, mm. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who doesn't have an asshole. Um, <laughs> but that's the thing. Some people are going to vibe with your opinion. Some people are not. But it's also not like you're being purposely toxic and trying to be harmful towards people with your opinion in this particular scenario. I mean, there may be a couple of times where, like, you know, I'll say some wild shit about One Piece or something like that. And somebody comes from my neck. Like, one dude, he was... He, it was like it sending me death threats. He was like, "Oh yeah, you know, you deserve to fucking die. I should come to your house, slit your throat, because I don't like One Piece." Like, hey, that's I'm, a no. That's actually yeah. insane. Yeah, it's right over a fucking cartoon, like, bro. <laughs> it's not that serious. What are you? Go outside, bro. What are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah. So that should you know. motherfuckers are so bored. Yeah, bro. I, don't I would. I would never. Could you imagine liking? A, a a fictional like property that you don't own you don't make money off of nobody you know makes any money off of it you literally have no point of pride with it you know you just really like this show to where you want to kill another human being for them not liking your show yeah and like then people will be like oh, i'm not a, i'm just not i'm not an emotional man but <laughs> And then they'll just send random death threats to people on the internet. I'm not. A, I'm a sigma male. And then two I'm tweets later, emotional. you're talking about how you know people are so sensitive you want nowadays. Like fucking One Piece. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> just fucking scream, just fucking screaming, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> how the fuck did you not like One Piece? Just fucking absolutely going off. Yeah, nah, man. I... But he's not emotional though. Don't he's worry. He's emotional. like he's just yeah. he's the perfect man. Yeah, he's true, uh, he's true. a sigma man. Absolutely. He's uh He's model, not a man child whatsoever. Model human being, and everybody should be like him. They should idolize him. Okay. They should want women should offer to suck his dick on a daily basis. He's just so Oh so yeah, alpha. just instantaneously. Yeah, just as soon as he goes to the grocery store, every Man, woman, and child. No, the grocery like, store is crazy. Yeah, every man, woman, <laughs> nah, and child. Nah, child is crazy. Hey, man, you know what it is? They they aspire. They're like, when I grow up, I want to suck your dick. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's that's how these dudes be acting, man. Like, they're just they're just holier than thou, man. Like, some of these dudes are weird, bro. Like, I just bro, the anime community has always been weird. What's some funny is this dude cool, probably can't even fight. Weird. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. So most people will talk like that. They don't do that. That's a They're lot not of, really about that. That's a lot of jaw jacket, man. So, you know. Yeah, they just flapping their gums, if you will. Yeah, that's it. Rubbing them teeth up together. Up against each other. 
My brain yep. hurts, man. I'm not going to lie. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and hurry up and wrap this show up. I got one more thing I wanted to talk about today, man. Uh, okay. Actually, probably two. Hold on. Let me. Three? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, and then I got a I got a question for the audience after that. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Um, so obviously we we are familiar with uh, ooh, excuse me, uh, amazingly talented talented uh, slightly homophobic rapper, Lil Nas X. Uh, he is dropping a tour, and nice. uh, my girl has already bought that. tickets. Damn. <laughs> Uh, she was on it, and uh, so he dropped a trailer on on his Twitter and his Instagram and everything, right? And in one of the uh, voiceover lines, he says, "Everyone is invited except for gay people." And so, of course, you know, in, in typical satirical fashion, I was texting my girl, and we were sending voice notes to each other. You know how like you can just record your voice and then send it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I told her, I said, "Oh, you know." Let's get tickets. I'm so glad he's not allowing gay people at this concert because queers seem to ruin everything, right? Obviously, satirical is between me and her. It's supposed to be funny, like, you know, and everybody knows I love Lil Nas X and several of my friends are of the uh, homosexual persuasion. Um, okay. <laughs> so obviously, you know, it's supposed to be a satire joke and stuff. She thought it was funny. She thought it was hilarious. Now, the problem was she was in the car. Uh oh. <laughs> With her parents. <laughs> oh. And so when they heard it, no, why would he serious. say that? <laughs> why would he say that? That's And she's like sending me a voice note back and you can hear them in the background. I didn't know he was that kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so mean. I was just like, oh my God. Like, Not this, this bullshit again. Yeah, yeah. She's like, She's like, now my parents are wild and they think you're homophobic. I was like, nah, I wouldn't suck a dick. I mean, for free, but I mean, you know, and then, so she sent a message back. She said, so what's the limit? I said, all right, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nah, you got to go. <laughs> then she sent me a, she screenshotted me a picture and sent it to me. It was a pack of Oreos. And I said, maybe with a question mark at the end. <laughs> Hey yo, <laughs> but this is just how me and my girl joke around. You know what I mean? Like she's starting to pick up on my uh, on my roasting tendencies. She's starting to pick up on my uh, ability to catch people off guard and like barrage them with information or accusations. So like you know when we having a conversation, right? And you say something, and I'll start questioning it. And like, you'll say, "Yeah, man, I had a hot dog the other day," and I'll be like, "Oh, what what fla- what flavor was he?" You know what I mean? Like, we just go in. We just go mad flagrant. Mm. So she started doing that, man. And you know what? I got to say, I'm very proud of her. I'm very, very proud of her. Abs all around. Yeah, very much. Very much so. I really uh, I really dig this one. She's dope. Um, we had a little bit of a spat this past week, you know, because she's still hanging out with a homeboy that I don't really fuck with. Um, um, but, I mean, you know, yeah. it is what it is. Buddy who's still that. trying to fuck. <laughs> What is this true? I'm not. I'm not wrong. I'm gonna have to read you the text for the Patreon, man. I'm gonna read you the text. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna read you the text, Playboy. Oh no! You gonna no. be like, yo, this is this is logic right here. So, I if you guys didn't know, uh, you guys can check the link down in the description so you guys can get a link to our Patreon so that way you can hear all the behind the scenes, the uncut, uncensored stuff uh, that we be talking about on the podcast when we drop names and addies and everything. Um, mm. you know, and if you can't find the link, it's patreon.com slash canon culture. That's C A N O N the word culture, no spaces. Uh, so yeah, you guys can check that out. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about speaking of homophobia is you see what this man DaBaby is up to, bro. Uh, I believe I have. You see, he tried to do that thing. weird little spin, spin punch knockout thing to what's his name? <laughs> I did not see that. Backstage? Oh, I got to send you the video. Hold on. Let me find the video real quick. No, I didn't see that. Oh, I thought we were talking about the other shooting. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't, I didn't see that. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he tried to knock <laughs> somebody crazy. out. Hold on. Let me see. Where is it? His legal team is pissed, man. No, yeah, no cap. Yeah, his PR team. Apparently, he got into it with somebody at, at Walmart. So, he just... This dude, man, is a little too tough for his own good, bro. 
He's a menace to a menace to Walmart's everywhere. Yeah, he's he's a menace to everything, man. This guy, he be doing a little bit too much. Uh, oh yeah. He uh, one of his artists that is signed to his label. Uh, oh Wisdom. yeah, he beat yeah, yeah. him up. Yeah, yeah, he swung on him. They fought yeah, ba- yeah, backstage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a real crazy video, man, because dude tries to sucker punch him so, so desperately on some, like, Mortal Kombat type shit. Like, he really was trying to do this weird spin move, and, you know, he just didn't have the form for it, bro. He just really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he took this big ass yeah. wide step and shit like when you watch it when you watch it back in slow motion you just see him take this like weird step like he was looking back and then pivoted his feet a certain way and his artist kind of and wisdom kind of put his hands up he go whoa what the hell and then the dude behind him he's like this dude in like a he's dressed like an all blue or something like that and he's like oh shit i thought you was gonna hit me like <laughs> how I, I seen what you're talking about though he tried to do a spin movie yeah man i'm like hey, what, what the fuck is going on here what the fuck are you doing i i don't understand this guy man he must be forgetting he's rich because he's still acting bro you couldn't give me no money like this and not expect me to, yeah i would never to, yeah. i would never act like this with Mm-mm. money Mm-mm. in fact i'd be doing the opposite of this man I, I'd, I'd be out here dapping dudes up it's good, mm. Chief. Here's a dollar. Like, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so, you know, I'd be giving stuff <laughs> Anything away to not free. get hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be just short of gay, to be honest with you. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Huh? What do you mean by that? Um, You know what? I'd just be pleasant with everybody. That's all it would be. Yeah, yeah. I would okay. love everybody, yeah, you know, equally. You know, handshakes, hugs, kisses, you know, the whole nine yards, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, that's your wife? Oh, okay. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, how long she course. been your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Asking Not somebody how long they've been that's been your wife is probably a really weird question to ask somebody. <laughs> well, I think it's like that. Stated like that is crazy. <laughs> Not how long have you two been married? How long she been yeah. your wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the follow-up question is usually, does she want to stay that way? Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, man. Um, I'm trying to go ahead and get these last couple of things out i have two more things man i have, I have one okay. more yeah, yeah, that's yeah. actually important and then another thing i have to read you and we'll we'll leave it up to the audience for that um so uh cotella just passed and i had wow. a, a conversation you know if you guys don't follow me on twitter make sure you guys go ahead and do that at just jason on twitter um i presented a very interesting take and you tell me what your thoughts of, are about this uh, so I saw Utada Hikaru, who is the uh, lead singer of whatever the fuck band she's part of. I have no fucking idea. Um, but she's better well known for doing the Kingdom Hearts intros and theme songs. Mm. So she performed at Coachella. There was obviously no Kingdom Hearts, you know, memorabilia. There was obviously no Kingdom Hearts displays or uh promotional anything there was nothing no no holograms no none of that shit no light shows nothing disney Mm. was not about to have that so i particularly was excited because i was like oh think of all the weebs that are at coachella or all the nerds that are at coachella and they get to see this very outlandish performance by this person that you would never expect to perform at coachella like you just wouldn't it just like coachella just seems like this really obscure very mainstream type of thing that only obviously rich persians uh oil uh oil tycoon children uh you know those type of motherfuckers go to you know very gentrifying uh type of people you know you know what i mean oh okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so they seem like the type that would go there so anyway let me let me tldr uh okay i presented this idea about an anime version of coachella And a lot of people were like, oh, so they're just basically like any other anime convention. I was like, no, because the difference between a convention and a festival, way different. Way, 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 way different. Way different. Yeah. So this would essentially be a festival and a celebration of anime, anime products, anime video games and stuff like that, which was dope in my, in my thought process. But the amount of methane gas that would be coming from that fucking venue... (laughs) (laughs) 
the the amount of onions being peeled <laughs> at that fucking venue. The j- yo, if we could get it sponsored by Old Spice, yeah, we could probably do it. But <laughs> you know, I think a four day, a three to four day anime event out in the desert somewhere where there's live performances, uh, where it's essentially just like an anime expo, anime impulse, anime NYC, or anything like that, just open a little bit more available because the problem with uh these conventions and stuff like that is that they'll be available from like 10 a.m to like 6 p.m you know obviously Mm. all day it's not really like only the it's a venue with events inside it's not an event itself you know what i mean so you know obviously it's gonna be a little stinky but i mean you know Pass out deodorant. I mean, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have straight. deodorant stands. Yeah, brush your teeth, deodorant. Stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. you know. No anime body pillows allowed. Yeah, no right. anime... <sighs> Holy shit. Yeah, nah, I'm not trying to start a riot, man. We gotta... We no gotta anime body up. pillows. Extra, you know, deodorant at all stations. Um, Just in case. You know what I mean? A little bit of Axe or a little bit of something. Something yeah. that gets you smelling okay. Yeah, please, please. Breath Axe mints. is the bare minimum, please. Breath mints every, every left and right turn. In between yeah, every yeah, booth. Yeah. Uh, but Don't yeah, man. Fucking soap. <laughs> <laughs> soap just and water everywhere. Soap. Yeah, just a raw bar of soap. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Take one. Take yeah, one. you might need this. Yeah, yeah. anybody that like says no this. thanks, we got to watch them the rest of the day. <laughs> they might have to be escorted out. Hey, man. Excuse me, sir. Um, Can you verify that you showered? <laughs> when, was, when was the last time you bathed? <laughs> Oh, uh, before I left the hotel room this morning. Uh Uh-huh, right, sure. Um, We're going to have to go ahead and ask you to leave. (laughs) But no, I was trying to imagine what this would be like because, you know, the cutoff time for Coachella is like 10 p.m., midnight and stuff like that. And one of the very appealing things to me in particular when it comes to Anime Impulse, Anime LA, or uh, Kamikaze, or Anime Expo is the get together of like content creators and like-minded people and like people who actually fuck with each other after the event um and the after parties this obviously would not it feels like now currently the after parties are the main event for me in particular like i don't be trying to go to the convention at all like not even a little bit but it's the after parties i want to fucking go to so with Mm. one of these that you know it's a festival it's it's partying you know from what 9 a.m to midnight you know what i mean like people get him obviously there's you know some safety issues and stuff like that i wouldn't be throwing this event but you know it would just basically be like coachella but with very anime and nerd inspired and stuff like that i like i could mm. see you know a couple of thousand you know imagine sean shimmel on stage no 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 not sean Sim- shimmel what's a uh, christopher sabbath you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Giving a giving an all might speech on stage in front of thousands of these, you know, stinky nerds, you know, <laughs> and when he raises his fist up in the air and he goes, Beyond plus ultra bro, that shit would be whoo, that'd be a hype moment, man. That'd be a hype moment. So it wouldn't be hype for me, but for you. I mean, yeah, 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 no. Yeah. Especially especially not for me, because there's a lot of dudes pit, putting their arms up, exposing their armpits. Yeah, yeah of uh, course. We don't have I, to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Chris, put your arm down, man. Put your arm down. <laughs> put it down, bro. So, you know, that was the only other thing I wanted to get off on my chest, uh, off of my chest uh, for, for this podcast. And then the last thing is uh, uh, something I specifically want your opinion on. Um, let me see if I want to read this. You know, this is just really about a workplace issue, and it's kind of mm. long. So we'll probably, you know what, we're going to save this for another podcast. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested now, now that I'm reading <laughs> Okay. Because it's, it's essentially like not giving a job a two-week notice, right? So this one person, they apparently gave uh, a two-week notice, and then another person, and then another person, and then another person. So four people on staff of this, I assume it's either a restaurant or some type of form of hospitality or customer service, right? Mm. Um, apparently this job tried to force... Uh, these people not to quit and they like declined their like two week notices or whatever uh, because it was quote unquote unfair for uh, the rest of the staff. He said, I doubt 
uh, that all three of you who have claimed that you have found a quote unquote better opportunity elsewhere are not giving uh, any thought about the fact that your coworkers have lives outside of this job and children. And then this person goes into talking about how they have to work extra hours and stuff like that. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't give a fuck about no job anyway. I don't. I really don't. I don't. I really don't think. I mean, uh, isn't the two week notice a courtesy? It is. It is. Um, it's also bullshit. Uh, so this guy tried to implement a new rule. Uh, in the employee handbook that would require a three months notice and they would cut your pay in half. So, wow. yeah. No, nah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's, that's, it's, it's yeah, pretty you wild. have to file something in the Better Business Bureau. Yeah, it that's, says right here. That's like he said, uh, the new rule going for the new rule in our employee handbook going forward will be updated to now require a three months notice since that's how long it'll take to train someone new to replace you. You will give three months notice and train your replacement in the meantime, and your three months notice will serve as your consent for your base pay to be lowered by six dollars an hour since you will be leaving. Nah, your, that's crazy. <laughs> since you will be leaving your reduction in pay. Uh, should, yeah, since you're leaving, your reduction in pay should be no issue. That's how this works from now on. You can thank your insubordinate team members for this. You can also thank them for the extra 30 hours of overtime per week you will be assigned to, uh, you will be assigned to until you find, or I find, new hires and then they are fully trained. This is, this is no, honestly, crazy. yeah, this is clearly a white man with a tiny penis. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm kidding, okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, dude definitely has a, a tiny dick. I don't know if he's white or not, but, um, and I don't want to say that because, you know, it's, it's not true. It's simply not true. It's probably, uh, he could be, he could be Asian, he could be Hispanic, you know, we never know. She? It could be a he woman? Just, nah, that's actually kind of crazy when you think about it. I, I don't, I don't even think you can do that. Can you do that? Can you just cut people's pay by fucking six dollars if they're trying to leave? If they consent, like three months is crazy. I guess if they consent, yeah. But I'm not consenting, bro. If like if I wanted to leave a job, I'm just quitting. Like I'm not giving you. A yeah, of course. Notice. Like no. Well, you wouldn't I, I give me a two week it. notice if you're firing me, right? Fair. So you know the fuck you need. The fuck you need. Uh, yeah. Three months is insane, though. Now, three months is crazy, yeah. and then training them, and then also having to work 30 hours overtime? Yeah, no. Doesn't make any sense. A 90, 90 day heads up is absolutely wild, bro. These, so I feel You're like some of these people are just out of their fucking bonkers minds, bro. They're just, doesn't make any goddamn sense. So. Yeah, I would. That is. I'd probably file something with the Better Business Bureau. I'm that's... probably going to file something with these hands, honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need to see you. I'm gonna need to see your fucking hands after the concert. All right. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it. I that's mean, that's actually really disgusting. Yeah, it really is. I I will tell you this, man. Jobs come and go. Jobs come and go. Salaries come and go. But there will always be a better opportunity somewhere. Uh, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Sometimes it may not show itself, but it's definitely one there. Uh, you kind of just have to look hard enough for it, man. And this very much relates to me because I thought I was going to get fired today. I'm not going to lie. I really thought I was going to get fired. Um, just because every time my boss wants to have a quote unquote staff meeting, it's usually after I fuck up something. Um, mm. And then not only that, this is the third time that it's kind of happened where I will be called out on something that I should have handled, like, you know, a customer that should have been taken care of or whatever. And it always seems to come down to somebody else's fault. And I don't say that like, oh, it's not my fault. It's literally gotten to a point where I reached a, a brick wall with the customer or the client. And I'm like, oh, okay, this requires somebody higher than me to take over this, which is usually him. So I notify him. I'm like, hey, I have to escalate this service ticket or whatever. I have to escalate this to you. He'll confirm and won't finish it. And won't finish mm. it. So then two months goes by and he's like, hey, did you did you finish this? I don't know. Did you? So, mm. you know, and they'd be trying to hit me with the, oh, well, we need you to improve this and improve that. And we would like you to pay more attention here and get more training here. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, 
All of these things that you're asking me to do require more training that you have to give me, which you claim you don't have time for. So if you can't make the time to delegate tasks for me to learn these things to give you more time, how am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed mm. to do that? doesn't make any sense. And then the other owner of the company who is, he's got a heart of gold. This man is dope. He doesn't know the specific client. So he doesn't know their passwords. He doesn't know like their logins. He doesn't know like how they, they configure their systems and stuff like that. He doesn't know. So he can't teach me either. Mm. So he's just like, well, you know, tra la 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 So he has no horse in this race, apparently. And man, these dudes be stressing me out. It's the equivalent of when your girl goes, we need to talk. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, man. I be shitting Brits every single time, even though I got the receipts to show that you ain't been doing what you're supposed to be doing, bitch. So, you know. But it is what it is, man. These jobs don't give a fuck about you. These jobs don't give a fuck about your your life, your your hopes, your dreams, your opinions. Uh, I'm going to tell you this right now. I've seen several homeboys uh, and homegirls be a part of jobs five, six, seven, going on 10 years and get laid off. Um, just because it was just like, hey, you know, you've been here long enough. Like one of my homegirls, she actually has been told like, hey, we think, you know, you've, you've been a great asset to us. Ooh, excuse me. You've been a great asset to us, you know. Uh, you know, uh, over the years, you've provided great service. Everybody likes you. You're a great team member. She thinks she's, she thinks she's going to get promoted. You know, they gassing her up. They sucking her dick in this meeting, man. And then next thing you know, they're like, that's why we have to go ahead and terminate you, uh, and let you go today. You know, we just really feel like this isn't the best opportunity for you anymore. We really think that there's something better for you out there. How the fuck are you going to fire me because I'm doing a good job? Like, when she told me that shit, I was like, you got to be kidding me. She pulled up the Zoom call for me, bro. She pulled oh, up the Zoom God. call, the recording. And I'm like, I'm listening to it. And they're telling her, bro, they are deep-throating her accolades, bro. They are really like, you've improved this much of our company, and you've made us th tens of thousands of dollars, and blah, 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 blah. That's why we need to let you go. We really feel that you no longer fit in this box that you're in and you know there are going to be better opportunities for you going forward and we really think that we're holding you back when i heard that bro i screamed nah, i fucking crazy. screamed like these people these people don't give a fuck bro these people don't give a fuck so that's today's moral of the story i ain't got nothing else man that's it for me today Man, that shit is crazy when you think about it. Yeah, could you imagine doing a, a stellar job and they'd be like, yeah, you're doing too good a job. Go ahead, pack your shit. <laughs> hey, man, it happens. These, yeah. Like you said, man, these jobs do not give a fuck. Yeah, no if, thanks, uh, man. Honestly, it would have, like, that would have made sense after, like, maybe she asked for a raise or something. They were like, oh, well, we got to let you go because you're getting a little too close. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, little, that's crazy. A little too comfortable here. <laughs> You be, you being good at your job, and then you being like, "Well, ooh man, we gotta escort you out the building." It was like your car not working no more, big dog. Yeah, nah, man, this is insane. Yeah, your Absolutely. ID not letting you in the building no more, yeah. so we gotta, yeah, we gotta get you the fuck out of here. Post haste. We already yeah, packed yeah. your shit. It's it's sitting outside, right next to your car. Yeah, we got a box here for you, right here. Yeah, has your name on it. This is all you, chief. This is everything. Oh. Don't worry, we count it. Is that a company pen? Hold on, let me take that. Yeah, let me, uh, I'm going to hold that. Let me take that back. <laughs> you don't work here no more. <laughs> this is over for you. <laughs> this is employees only. This is an employee only benefit. I don't know what you do. Yeah, with yeah, this is, this is our pen. Yeah. Sorry. We should hit you up for, for stealing company property, if anything. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> this is, and we packed your shit, so. Yeah, so. But yeah, man, you know, um. My thing for today's podcast is uh, if you guys like something, try and find a way to make some money from it, man. If you like throwing it back on the TL, shit, start your <laughs> fans league, start your man. Hey, I'm a I'm a be real with you, bro. I had a I had a moment the other day because my girl was like, you know, we were kicking it or whatever, and she was like, let's film it, and I was like, what? Hey, Hold up yo. now, what you is, want you want evidence? Crazy. But you know what was funny. When she met me, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got an OnlyFans, you know, or whatever. She thought it was preposterous. She was like, you can't have OnlyFans. I'm like, what? No, not my man. Shut it down. 
So I shut it down. Now all of a sudden she want to get freaky deaky. What the hell? Mm. So, you know, I don't know if that's more. I don't know where I was going with this. But anyway, I was trying to be like, uh, I had this thought in my mind. I was like, what if I'm like Adam 22? Let me just, oh, nah. let me just bust it down on the TL with me and my girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause Adam 22 doesn't even have good interviews. He really doesn't like. I don't really watch him. So you know I what? Mean, no Jumper is terrible. Know. Every single so. show that they have on No Jumper is terrible. Uh, all the hosts that they have are terrible. I don't understand how they... I think... I, I don't understand how they have celebrities come on their old interviews, bro. I don't understand. And I think but, it was... It skyrockets all the time because they'll have porn stars on there that then leave and go fuck Adam and his wife. True. I'd be so confused. I'm like, damn, man. Couldn't be me. Unfortunately. <laughs> I wish it was. I'm a, I'm gonna keep praying, God. I wouldn't know anything. I I'm a man of the Lord. Cannot mm. cannot be doing that. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, point being, I was trying to bust it down. Make some money. Yeah, I was trying to be a podcaster and bust it down on the fans and be a YouTuber and voice actor all at the same time. I'm gonna get there one day, man. I'm gonna get there one day. So, yeah, just keep uh, keep going for it, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep dropping it like it's hot on the TL. So. Booty pics coming at 10,000, man. No, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. I'm never going to make it, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, uh, that okay. leads me to the last thing. Um, so because I didn't get fired, uh, this week I'm actually going back to making YouTube b- videos, man. Um, oh, okay. Congratulations. Claps all around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was actually a really tough decision. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I had no, I had no desire to go back to making videos. At all. Um, yeah. But every morning I would get up and I would see like another piece of content that I thought was interesting. And I would think like, how would I make this video? How would I make this video better? And so over the last two weeks, I've been studying and practicing editing techniques and changing how I uh, produce videos, essentially, uh, from mm-hmm. watching other creators and stuff like that. And I think I have like my my idea of how I want to produce videos from now on. So I'm giving it a try this week. Um, Not only that, I've seen a lot of anime recently. Uh, I've seen three shows. Let's be real. I've seen three shows that actually have sparked my passion for wanting to make commentary anime videos again, or just commentary video game videos, because as I've been playing Mafia 3, and uh, I'm finally, finally, finally doing Persona 5 Royal, so finally, nice. um, so I'll probably be streaming that later this week, um, and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So as I've been playing these, I have been sitting on the couch, and I'll be playing, and I'll commentate to myself, which is which is wild, absolutely wild. Yeah. I'll just randomly start like making up things to talk about. So, you know, it's been uh, it's been pretty interesting. So. Mm. Got a couple of live reactions coming. Yep. Got a couple of gaming videos coming. So, you know, got we'll see where it goes. Pods inbound. Yeah, yeah. Everything's so. looking good. Yeah, man. We got to. Uh, I got to get out of this day job shit, man. I gotta. I gotta be a, vi- a digital stripper out here. I gotta. I'm, try- I'm trying Ooh. to be a video hoe. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice a video thong. vixen. Get you a nice little purple thong. You're gonna be throwing it back. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you guys can catch that on fansly.com/slash/justjxxx. So, you know, you'll be able to see that, man. Wow. But that's going to be it for me, man. Man, I don't got nothing else to talk about this week. Yeah, that's it for me. I didn't. I think I had something and then I lost it, so it's, it's whatever. Damn, that's okay. We'll save it for the Patreon, man. Um, yeah, of course. But with that being said, we want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, all of my audio listener, listeners, uh, the YouTube, the Stitcher, the Spotify, the Apple... Uh, oh, even uh, the, the people who listen on Google Podcasts. Thank you guys so much. Um, also, make sure to subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All of those links are going to be down in the description below. Um, man, this was a great episode. Uh, I agree. You know, it got really, really riffy for a little bit. I don't know where the fuck I was going with some of these tangents, man. I never do. I never do. Hey, man, that's the content, so, baby. Yeah, that's why it's been the most inconsistently consistent podcast. Uh, it's been the Canon Culture Podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to keep it canon. We'll see you guys next week.